If I save again before I do anything here. Oh, right. What's that? Is that his world that we shouldn't really go to? Are we going to go look at it and see what it's like? Yeah, I mean, what's that up there? Let's go see what this is, eh? Yeah, we can't not go, exactly. <laughs> we have to go check it out. Oh, look, there's books here. How do we get out of here? Oh, wait. What did that do? Oh, here he comes. I apologize for the cage. I'm afraid this situation has often required of me a more primitive code of conduct than I might otherwise have chosen. Yeah, it is. I am Gen. I assume you've heard of me. Yes. Well, I suspect you have acquired some false information of who I am now. Not that my son would have lied to you about me. No, not Atrus. It's just that... Well, I'm sure he believes me to still be the depraved father I once was. Yes. I even tried to kill him once. God, if I had accomplished that, who knows what I would have become. A great father, indeed, who tries to murder his own son. Thankfully, he trapped me on age five, a prison of my own creation. No books, no precious inks, no ages to link to, nothing but my own foolish ambitions. That was 30 years ago. 30 years, 30 lifetimes, what does it matter? No sentence could be too harsh for the man I was. But. I have changed. To be sure, the deeds of my past can never be completely atoned for, but my mission was an honorable one. I'm sorry, this is all a bit awkward. I. It's been a long time since I've attempted to persuade any one of my intentions. Most of the people here have already made their minds up about me one way or another. I myself do not trust the words of most men, so I don't expect you to believe me. In the end, though, you may discover that I do have more than mere words to offer. Atrus's choice of punishment has been hard on the people of Riven, and many have suffered because of it. The island has been steadily decaying for years, but according to my most recent measurements, it appears that the Fifth Age has entered its final days. Unless the villagers can be relocated soon, the island will collapse entirely and everyone will perish. It has taken me a long time to do it, but it appears that finally I'll be able to make some substantial amends to my past transgressions, especially in... Well, I'm afraid I've had some trouble with Catherine and the moiety. In any society, there will always be a small percentage of the population with rebellious tendencies. Before Catherine appeared, the moiety, as they call themselves, had been relatively harmless. I mean, the natives here are a fairly violent people by nature. 
but I'd almost come to accept their presence. It seemed inevitable under the circumstances. Upon Catherine's return, however, their violence intensified considerably. It seems she'd become some sort of religious savior to them. And as far as I can tell, she's come to believe this herself. So I've had no alternative. I had to separate her from her people. I must admit, though, that my concerns were not entirely for her safety alone. The actions of Catherine and the moiety have put my own life at risk on numerous occasions. Consequently, the lives of all the people here. It's a monologue, eh? Therefore, I must ask you to refrain from any attempt to free her. Although I'm sure Atrus desires it. Indeed, he must desire it with all his heart. But he is completely unaware of her recent state. Which brings me to the point of all of this. The linking book you brought with you. You're very fortunate to have recovered it. If I may. Thank you. Was he finding? I can't do anything, so I'm just. Is he going to touch it? Perhaps it would be best if you went through first. I guess we will. We had to do that. Remember, we had to lure him through. And then we swapped places with him. Yeah, there he goes, look. He's taking a weapon with him, just in case. Yeah, we we, to we would swap with him, so he'd be imprisoned. Yeah, we're out with the cage now. Yeah, I'm going to save that. Sorry, my partner's just messaged again. <laughs> Let me see what she's saying. Better tell her about the mice. Okay, what have we got here? Can we look at any of these things? What do these do? Anything? It's like a scar up, look. It doesn't look as though I can use any of this. I don't know if I want to use the book. Yeah, 
I can't click on the book anyway. Right. Can I go past here? There. What's this thing? What's that for? Well, we can go down there. There's a lever here. Okay, so it's now no longer a cage. Can I, I can, oh right, these are different books. That's first age or something. Oh, right. <gasps> is that the is that the small island? It's like an open eye with a dot on it. Which is blue. Yeah, that's the small island. That's the small island. That's it's got the colour blue on the on one of these. That one. That's for the colour blue. Right, so this is the small island. Okay, so that would take us there. We're not gonna go there yet though. I want to see what else is. Ah. Okay, so these and there's the symbol, look. So we can go back to any island we want now. There's the tree island with a village. Okay, so the books are all now, should all now be working then. Yeah, so we can travel to any of the islands now. Um, but I want to know what's down here. To gain from somebody. <laughs> I think we've got a bit of reading. It might be Catherine, yeah. Sorry. Um. Sorry, my partner's messed. <laughs> She's out of work. And just letting her know that Barn is looking for the mouse. Right. Okay. I start this latest journal with astounding news. Catherine has returned to the fifth age. And though it sets my teeth on edge to say it, she has also vanished as quickly as she appeared. Stolen from me by the rebels. As my 
guard tells it. She linked into the Fisher Plateau cage, as I'd guessed, when suddenly he was set upon by a band of rebels who darted to him and spirited her away. I suspect the truth of the matter was that he was as dumbfounded as at actually witnessing someone link in after all this time that he presented an easy target for whichever rebel had happened by at that moment. The damnable luck of it. He did get a good enough look at her, though, to verify that it was indeed Catherine. That Gain's wife, Ketra. Okay. Yeah, and that's, um... Atreus. Yeah, he also claims that he inspected all of his her belongings and found no linking book on her person. A fact which, if time, if true, sorry, makes the question of why she'd returned here all the more puzzling. While I am sick with frustration that having lost the only um, <laughs> person or something, it doesn't say person, that Cage has ever caught, I am also filled with hope. She may yet provide me with a way back to Dunny. It is a time that I have managed despite overwhelming odds, to break free of the confines of the Fifth Age and resume my mission to save my culture from extinction. Quarry. Yeah, it could be Quarry, couldn't it? Yeah, Atrus was in the first in Mist. Uh, do, 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 do. It is time that I have managed, despite overwhelming odds, to break free of the confines, resume my mission to save my culture from extinction. But I am, f but I fear that unless I am able to regain access to the vast resources that lie in the city's ruins, the task of reconstructing that great civilization will be impossible. If Catherine did bring our Lincoln book with her, then I am halfway there. If not, then she is trapped in the fifth age, and I can assume that my emotionally crippled son will soon be along to rescue her. Either way, it is crucial to my plans that I find her soon. Her presence here now forces me to take the rebels more seriously. I should never have permitted them to survive this long. Once again, the great Wack has demonstrated its usefulness to me. This past week, the villagers have, have been most difficult to manage. Apparently, they have learned of Catherine's arrival, and their fear of this mythic beast has been all that has kept them in line. Had I known how truly useful these prodigious creatures would prove to be, I would have perhaps captured more of them while the local population was still plentiful. Although, to be sure, if these disturbances continue, my current pets will be in no danger of perishing for lack of nourishment. The search for Catherine continues. I now deeply regret my mistake of having ever taught these primitive people anything at all about the books. It seems that with each passing day... I more... Sorely realize. I'm not sure. Realize the extent to which they were. I could just bring up the text. <laughs> Ready for that knowledge. Not even in the simplified manner in which I had presented it to them. Their minds, adapted only to the exceptionally menial tasks of village life, were incapable of comprehending the art in all its complexity and thus were unable to extract the essential underlying principle that are, ironically, so elegantly simple. It is so obvious that much of the discord that exists between us stems from their failure to grasp the full meaning of the information I gave them. If they'd been able to gain even the smallest glimpse of the future I'd planned for them, then this conflict would not exist. The minds of children are much more malleable. With the proper instruction, they have developed a more appropriate posture towards the culture that gave them their lives. At times they take to it, almost as if they had a bit of Dine blood in them. 
given the native's inborn limitations, however. I am quite careful that more gain a level of understanding that would permit them to sin against their future the way that Catherine did. How foolish I was to think that she could contain such knowledge responsibly when it was quite clear that my own son could not. Atrus, still he remains one of the greatest disappointments of my life. I should never have left him with my mother. By the time I'd returned for him, he had already be been poisoned as to all thoughts of the dinner. Perhaps it was the only way that she could rationalise the fact that she had been responsible for the collapse of their civilization. So much destruction, so many great lives lost. The guilt must have been unbearable. I do have vague recollections of the love she had for my father and for my own would, but ultimately she was an outsider whose ignorance of the dunny became the catalyst for their demise. If I am able to rebuild our culture and in the process connect, correct such crucial weaknesses, then perhaps what she did was ultimately necessary, in order that a new era of prosperity might someday come to pass. These last few weeks, I find myself frequently beset by images from the past. As I stood in the schoolroom today, I was reminded of my own childhood, the years I spent in the Bookmakers Guild, father's immense pride at each of my small accomplishments there. He was an important man in the Diné world, but I can't bear to think of him for long. It's too much. I was too young to see such a thing. I've got her. Late last night, I received word that Catherine was in the village, attempting to persuade the people to join her. I lost two good men in the process, but I would have paid a hundred times that number for such a prize. She's been taken to the prison island, where I've been attempting to give her some insight as to the reason for her presence here. I've had to fight... I've had... I've had to fight the all but constant impulse to put her on the gallows. She has adopted the most infuriating stance of only answering my questions, when she answers them at all, in her native tongue. Even so, she is a, a poor liar. I am now quite certain that her return to Riven was unintentional and that she brought no Lincoln book with her. As far as her unwillingness to share with me the location of the moiety, we shall see without their leader, however, they are once again powerless against me. If Catherine's coming here was indeed an accident, then Atris is bound to come for her. That is a given. The question I must consider is, how will he do it? Is it likely that his hesitation has been due, at least in past part, to this dilemma? One way or another, though, he'll have to bring a Lincoln book to get back to Dunny. There is no other way. It's late and I cannot sleep. His handwriting's is getting worse. I've lost so much in my life. My people, my father, my son. I knew my wife, Ketra. Keta. You were the only true kindness I have ever known. Watching you flicker these... Eh? Watching you... These in the... I don't know what that says. Sometimes wonder if you were real. If I could restore your life with my pen, I would do so in an instant and leave the rest of the world to their own wretched fate. Yeah, oh yeah, that makes sense, watching you flicker there in the imager. Yeah, because he, he was watched. we saw that, didn't we? We saw her in our prison room, through the imager. Damn these savages. I would be well advised to leave them all in the fifth age, and begin again with a clean sheet of paper. A stranger has arrived in Ruin, with a Lincoln book to Dunny, and once again my useless minions was overtaken by the rebels. From what little I could decipher from his muddled explanation, it apparently occurred sometime this morning. The cage has been damaged, but it is no matter. Everything I need is here now. Atrus is certainly behind this, yet how could he be so foolish as to send someone here with a Lincoln book? Such blatancy is unlike him. Could it be that he has had a change of heart? After all these years, is he finally letting his poor old father go? No, he's only after one thing. Perhaps he should find her. 
for now. I need only to wait and observe. Right, sorry, my partner, what she said. Oh no, somebody else messaged me now. Right, right, okay. Uh, what's this thing? Can we do it? Okay, that's probably important. What's that? Was he talking about Keta in the thing? Okay. Right, this is probably important, this ding, 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 ding. There's like two dings, isn't there? And then other sounds. So we've got two dings. Like a click. And then a different sounds for the last two. Ding ding, crunch, crunch, crunch. I think there's a... Th It's like ding ding click and a couple of rasps, isn't it, or something like that. Yeah. That's that's it. Okay, I guess we need that for something. Okay, can we open the drawer? We can't. Nothing in the drawer though. Anything hiding under the bed? Oh, you'd have to watch you didn't wake up abruptly in the middle of the night, wouldn't you? You'd soon bang your head off that and then go straight back to sleep. <laughs> Maybe it's early. An early method of sleeping tablets. Somebody comes in and gives you a fright because you couldn't sleep properly and then you sit up quickly and bang your head and you're straight back to sleep again. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Repeated concussions, yeah. Wait, what's this for? Okay. Can we look at the light? No. That's Keta then. Right, so I think we've seen everything in here. We couldn't do anything with this. Uh, we've still got the door we can check. We haven't been out the door. Can I go out the door? No, it's locked. So I guess we can. We should really go to the small island because we haven't been there. Oops. Which book is this? That's there.
This one. We haven't been here. I'm going to get linked to here. But I'm going to save first before we go. Right, come out there for a sec. Right, let's go through here. We're going to get to touch the book. Uh, before we explore here, I'm going to have a quick bio break um, and I need to check on Barn, see how he's getting on with a mouse down the back. So give me a few minutes, I will be right back. We're back. Uh, uh, Barn would manage to corner the mouse in the bathroom, so I managed to catch it, so it's a way back out now. It's still alive. Alright, okay. Let's explore this place. Uh, I've got my microphone on. Is my captions still going? They are. Okay. So what is this place? That's like the same tops of the the villagers' lookout towers. This is in the middle of nowhere. Is this just rust? Can I look up? It's another cage. Three buttons, three different sounds I reckon, since we've just had a puzzle with three different sounds. That's the click. That's the rasp. And that's the ding. Reset it. So two of these. A click. Two of them. No? Oh, then do I have to pull that? Yeah. Oh, this is where we saw Catherine in the visualizer thing. <laughs> Then, if you won't help me, then I have nothing more to say. 
we, we knew there was that find Gen's office for the prison code. Have I missed something in his office? Have we got to go back to his place again? Can I get my mouse back? Is that not the... Is that not the two thingies, the click and the whatever? Did we not get this right? Is that not the right order? I thought we had... I thought that was correct. Yeah, let's try the other way, but I don't think it's... That's definitely the rasp, wasn't it? I did that wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, it worked this time. I thought that's what I did, so... Uh, we're here. Yeah, I did it just now. Gen's people may already know what's happening. Once we're back with the moiety, we'll have time to regroup. Can I see the book? You did it. We're all free. still his followers. I'm not sure what I'll do once I realize he's gone. I'll have to get the villagers to safety as soon as possible. You go back to the Temple Island and reopen the fissure. I know it's risky, but it's the only way to signal Natris. I'll try to make it back there as soon as I can, but don't wait for me. Don't forget, the portal combination's in my journal. Good luck. Okay, so we need to head back to Temple Island, she's calling it. I presume that's just the main island. I'm waiting for my cursor to reappear.
Can I get my cursor back? There, right. Oh. Yeah, she needs time to escape. Do we trust her? <laughs> yeah. I guess we just do this. 25. No, it was 24. 20. 5. 3. 2. I was daydreaming. Hey, man, are we? We're trying to. Um, we've been capturing Gain so, so that we can free everybody else. This is the sequel to Mist. Um, you've been looking for a couple of hours, okay? It's a, it's a direct follow-on to Mist, um, basically. Oh. How do we... oh. What's that do? How do we get out of here? Oh, can we just touch the books? Um, that was Temple Island, wasn't it? Oh no! Somebody's ripped a page. <gasps> Who's been ripping all my pages? Hey, you die. How are you? Oh, this one's okay. Who's been ripping my pages, though? This is the island we needed anyway. Just give you a shout out, you know? Is this game making me smarter? No. <laughs> Yeah, making me sure I go to the Temple Island. I guess so. Right. Does this middle bit look any different since we did the thing above now? Um, oh. Why is that? 
closed off. I guess I have to go this way. I like the little bounce at the end there. One five four one five. Yeah. Okay, it's already broken here. It looks like, looks as though it's already broken, doesn't it? No, it's not. Okay. So we're going down and we're going to smash through the glass. I'm going to save before I do that. You think you need some content? There isn't much time. Where's Catherine? Context. Where's the book? Mist is all about the, the right books that create worlds and you can travel to those worlds by touching the image within the book. So you touch the image and you get transferred to the world that's written in the book, that's been created with the book. This is where our past was part. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. You know where to find me. Goodbye, my friend. Yeah, this is right at the end of the game. Each book is called an age, man away. Basically they design a world and it's stored within the book and you can go there. So we, we saw both endings. That was very good, it was much tougher than the original Mist game though. Much tougher. Yeah, we we will reappear, Sophia. Yeah. We will reappear in exile. We have been exiled. 
<laughs> We're going to be playing this one next time. We're going to start on Exile. Missed three. Uh, I'm just going to keep going with these on Wednesdays and possibly another day each week where we can get through them. But that was good, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I've actually f finally f played it all the way through. Um, no, I haven't played Yuri. Um, I think I have it. Oh, she's brought in another mouse. Two seconds. Okay, fuck again. Sorry. <laughs> um, you able to follow the plot in all the games while you're playing them except Yuri. You have no idea what was going on there. Okay, I think I have Yuri. Um, let me just check. I'm pretty sure I do. Yuri was an MMO, yeah. Yeah, I do have them. So, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, you end up... Yeah, Riven's the second in the series. Um, the first one, you end up on the island of Mist, and you have to solve puzzles to get um, to different worlds, to different ages. Solve the puzzles there, then come back to the hub world uh, of Mist. They're very good puzzle games if you like puzzle games. Uh, I mean, there's there's a, there's a heap of them. There's um, Exile, and then you've got Revelation as Mist Four. Where are we? I don't know where it is there. It's Mist 4, isn't it? Mist... Yeah, Mist 4 Revelation. Yeah, Mist, Mist was very good in creating, telling you how, like, about the book, how you, the books were made and things like that. Um, there's a brand new Mist version came out a couple of years ago, which is this one, which is full 3D. You can walk about, turn about, it's it, they did a lot of good work on this. This is the original one. Um, because the original was like Riven. It was steps. You 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 only had certain viewpoints you could you you could see. 
my life was not set in stone by the ink on a page. I chose to travel this new path, not because it was required, but because it, it was astonishing. The thought of the splendid, vibrant, unforeseen worlds that would lie along this new path brought me right into my very core. Yeah, I've, I've played the original and I played the remake. I've got this I've still got the original disc. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I yeah, I've still got my original mist CD but, um, but I've got all the latest versions as well. So this is, this is you arriving at the island of mist in the original game. They're great puzzle games though, they're just, they're, they're very, very hard. But yeah, it's, it's, it's worth having a look at the latest version. See, so, I mean, I've still got all, I've still got them all. I've got Mr. Revelations, I've got a collector's edition of that. And I've got the end ages. I'll be playing all the Steam versions though. So, uh, and that was Riven. That we've just played. So we'll we'll start on Exile um next week, hopefully. It says it's my Wednesday off, but I might I might still stream some of it. I've got abduction as well. Yeah, I don't think that's part. Is that part of the Mist World? I don't think, I'm not sure that's part of the mist world. No one, yes, okay. Uh, but I do have that, so I will, I might just play all their games. Over the next few weeks. Yeah, I, had, I do have it. Because I've also got their firmament one, the new one that came out. There's Easter eggs, okay. So I think we'll just work our way through them. Um, but I will be back tomorrow morning. Um, tomorrow Friday. I've got. I'm doing like three first looks early in the morning. I need to go away possibly for an hour, and then I'll be back to do another couple of first looks. Um, and then we're back with um, Xenoblade Chronicles at the weekend, along with the giveaway, which I think I will do on Saturday this week. Um, Firmament looks pretty good. Um, self -air. I picked that up recently. I'm looking forward to playing it. It looks very good as well. Yeah. And as I say, the the remake of Riven is due out probably next year, I think. I hope she's not talking mouse in. Hold on a sec. No mouse. No mouse this time. It got away. Right. <laughs> she's just catching too many mice just now. So, yeah. That was good. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm glad we... Glad I got that done. And thank you for the, the hints and the tips during that playthrough. It's always much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, I will be back tomorrow morning uh, with the first looks. Let me see if I can find somebody to raid. I would have probably started Exile this morning, but now, but I it's my son's birthday and I probably have some things to still tidy up <laughs> before his grandmother comes over later today. Uh, I think we're having a Chinese takeaway. He wants a Chinese takeaway for his for his supper. So that's what we're having. Um, right. Let me see who is on. Um. I don't know if if anybody's got any suggestions. I'm quite open to that.
Uh, who's this? It's Mr. Stedge, but he's not doing anything. Dayman is playing Vintage Story. I could read over to Dayman. Although, hold on, Vincenti's on. We haven't read Vincenti for a while. Let's let's head on over to Vincenti. Uh, he had a break from streaming, but he's back now. He's very good. Uh, so we shall read over to there. There we go. Put my raid messages up. Um, so yeah, thank you all for being here as usual. Thank you for the support. Um, I'll say I'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh, I will roll my credits briefly and then I will raid on over. So I hope you all have a good rest of the day. And we will maybe catch you the next time. So until then, you all take care, be safe, and I will say bye for now.